Oh, hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alvo here with KissAnalog.com. Guys, I gotta show you something. I've had it for a while and I keep meaning, I wanted to have a big, like, you know, kind of an introduction to this, with, you know, have a big video behind it. And I was, had a lot of other stuff I was doing to try to prepare for that. But anyway, it's time. I'm just gonna show you this audio precision device that I've had. Now, a guy named Robert, the fried mule, which uh, let me know if you're still there. So he sent this to me and he sent it from a long ways away. So he lives in Norway and uh, he was just getting rid of some equipment and stuff. And he's been a big help to the channel, giving me advice on the video and the editing, and the audio, things like that. It seems like he's had a lot of experience in that kind of stuff. So hopefully that's you know, help the channel. Give a thumbs up to the video if you like it or if you like what Robert has uh, helped me do. But I haven't heard from him for a while, guys, so I got to check in with him. But uh, audio precision, okay? This guy is the ATS-1 and has a really nice display. Really, it, I, I just put it up, started using it for the first time. I, You know what I thought? I thought I had to download some software and run it with my computer and you can set it up to do program testing, but you can also set it up in a manual mode like I have right now, and you can just do it, you know, really simply. So I finally, I've finally i had it sitting down here for a long time. I just threw it up here and powered it up and, and I started walking through it. And uh, I'm gonna show you this, okay? Now, I'm gonna become an expert on this bad boy, like real soon, but just, I've literally spent maybe a half an hour putting it up on the bench and just playing with the buttons. And I was going to do a test, but I'm going away uh, to do some, <clears throat> sorry, I've been sick for about a week and I'm just finally kind of coming back. So luckily uh, my brother is in town this weekend and we're going skiing with him tomorrow. So we're gonna go stay up at their place. They've got a place up in Park City, Utah, really nice. It's actually Deer Valley, it's a really nice place. So we're gonna go up there, stay with them, go skiing. And I'm gonna try to get this video out. Uh, I'm gonna try to edit it and get it out tomorrow. So I've got this amplifier I was gonna test and I've got a bunch of other ones here. I've got some, I got stacks of them behind me, around me, and uh, some Class D, a lot of them are Class D. And then there's some Class A, Bs and I think I have another class, well, I have a couple class A's too. So anyway, we got a lot of testing to do and it's gonna be fun. <clears throat> I've also got my silent back here. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is still not quite back, but I got my quant asylum and the audio precision. So we're gonna see what kind of results we get from each one of these. I can still, could you guys hear that? There's a speaker in the back so that I can hear the test signal. And I thought I'd turn that down where I couldn't hear it, but I, I can still hear it. <laughs> so, all right, guys, let me bring you over here, show you this thing, and see what you think of this thing, all right? All right, guys, there it is. And I got my GW Instinct back up on top, but here it is, the ATS-1. Uh, so just a quick, explanation of the layout here. The frequency setup is right here, okay? The amplitude is right here. So this is your generator. This is the kind of function, kind of testing you're gonna do. And this is your input, your A, B, and your generator, and your outputs, A, B, and your mute. And this little LED is on right now. And that's because, here I'll give you a close up of the buttons here look at the thing across here. Okay, so that light's on because that was the test tone. So you can monitor the test. So you put headsets in here or there's a speaker on the back. And this knob's a little bit dirty. Okay, so, and then here's contrast for the display. So you can adjust your display. And you can also hit the invert button if you like that. Okay, and then your instrument modes, your panels, your bar graph, so you can set this up for different kinds of 
you know, I like the panels, but you can have the bar graph. There's a sweet mode where you can set up the generator and everything. And there's a print button here. So you can set up your print panel. So yeah, pretty cool. Now it's really easy. Like if you want to, this is your filter. If you, this unweighted, whoops, you might have to be in a specific setup. Let's go test this one. There we go. Weighted, average, unweighted. Okay. And then here's your frequencies, your low frequency and your high frequency. It's on. Here, let me get a little closer so you can see this. Okay. I think I got, <clears throat> all right. I think I got the glare off now. So here's three, it says over 300 K drop down 22 K. Uh, and yeah, so you got different ones, 30, 80 K back to over 300. This is less than 10 Hertz, but you can go up to 400 or you can go back to 10 Hertz. Okay. And generator tracking mode. So you just go to the button right above where you do it and fix tune. You can see the different uh, options we have. And this is your DBR zero. This is a reference. So once you save something, you can save the reference or you can zero it out. I'm going to leave it there for now because I want to look at that. But here's your level. You can go to DB volts. I'll just thumb through them. So pretty darn nice, right? I mean, it's just very intuitive. So right now I just got my inputs to my outputs. So look at that. It's like pretty low, minus 96 almost. <clears throat> that's DBR. Okay, so that's THD plus noise. That's 0 0.0015 or 0.96. So depending on how you like to look at it. And you can go microvolts too. So I think that's pretty nice that you can set it up and do all that stuff. Now here's your analyzer inputs, okay? So I got my A and B. You can use the banana jacks or the B and C's like I'm using. You got your chassis ground, okay? For both sides and then here's your generator outputs and same thing BNC or your bananas and they look like really nice connections right and so I'm just doing BNC because that should give the best option I think so there we go pretty sweet oh and obviously we have a power on and off switch now I should have taken a picture of the back side so you could see it Maybe I'll flash up a diagram here. All right, guys, so what do you think? It's pretty nice, pretty easy to uh, use and set up and all that, right? We're gonna run through some tests and see exactly what we can get from that, okay? Now, um, we're not getting the, the graphs and things like that. We're getting just numbers, but that's, that's fine. So yeah, we're gonna uh, play around with this. Like I said, I'm gonna read the manual. I'm gonna become an expert on this thing, but for now, it looks like it's pretty easy to get up and going. Uh, two thumbs up to Robert for sending this out to me. Um, that was really awesome that he did that. And by the way, he goes by Fried Mule on the thing. Now, I think he said I could use his first name. So, um, yeah, you know, I got to reach out to him. Robert, hope you're okay. Uh, haven't heard from him for a while. And you know how, like, sometimes you don't hear from someone for a while? Uh, you're almost scared to reach out to him when you start getting up in the years like me. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, I've got another friend who, um, yeah, it's like, I'm afraid to, uh, you know, when I don't hear from somebody for a while, I'm so busy. It's not, no excuse, but yeah, I lose touch with people sometimes for time for periods of time, but yeah, Robert. Thanks so much for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. I know it costs a lot just to ship it from Denmark. I think I might have said Norway before uh, because I shipped something to Norway not too long ago and that was on my mind. But uh, yeah, he's in Denmark. And yeah, so that, that's expensive. Nor shipping to Norway, Denmark, shipping to Canada is expensive. Um, it, anywhere outside the U.S. is expensive. So I kind of stopped doing that. I was paying a lot of money shipping free meters out. And so now, guys, sometimes I'll have some meters. If you want one, let me know, you know, if it's a meter that I've got to review or something. And I'll, I'll let you know if it, there's going to be a giveaway. 
I kind of stopped doing those because honestly, I didn't have too many people asking for them. It's kind of funny. I had uh, one guy from Venezuela or something like that. Uh, no, it was another country. Anyway, it, it was super expensive to ship. It was like two or three hundred dollars. So it was, I mean, I, you know, I could buy him a meter in his own country for cheaper than sending him one. But so anyway, there's that. Sorry, just rambling on. So, um, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate it. We're going to have a lot of fun with this thing. And the fried meal is awesome. And hit the like button if if uh, you like the video, if you like seeing the AP device. And I appreciate you guys watching and liking the video and all that kind of stuff. So uh, two big thumbs up to my YouTube members and my uh, and my patrons, of course. <laughs> and Danny, being a team member of my YouTube channel, that's awesome. You can join down below. Appreciate that too. And just subscribe. That's huge. That's free. Subscribe, guys. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see how. So, by the way, before I sign off, let me just explain. Audio precision. It's the big name in audio analyzers and audio testing. I have a leader, which I'm gonna review that, guys. And uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a yard sale where I sell some stuff really inexpensively. Like, I have this guy out for that reason, remind myself to say that. This is a Tektronix THS730A, dual channel, each channel is isolated, has a multimeter channel over here, it's isolated as well. There's an optical output, I've got the case, i got everything, got all the manuals, got all the original probes. The thing is in great shape, I think I might have two batteries for it. Anyway, there's a battery that runs all the way down here, and uh, yeah old school but uh it was a great scope it was one of my first scopes i bought specifically for doing power supply designs because of the isolation so it's great for that but um yeah email me if you're interested in anything you see um i think i'm going to get rid of this gain phase meter this auto distortion analyzer it's a chrono height uh because i've i have other things to do these things so um i thought they looked cool because they're really cool back in the day, but I've got other things I gotta make room uh, for things. So um, my big old power decade box, I gotta figure out my bench. I need a longer bench. I got a bench over here too. So I might set, move the camera around over there and put and work on this bench that you guys don't see. And that way I can put have my soldering station, my microscope over here and have the camera over there looking back this way. That seems like that might be kind of cool. What do you guys think? Yeah, I want to lower my tower down. Um, you know, a bunch of eye candy back there, but no, it's a lot of cool stuff. My LCR meter, a bunch of generators, a bunch of power supplies, active loads. I've still got to show you this solar array simulator. So I've got some MPPTs that um, this guy's specifically set to test i thought i had one here i could show you real quick but anyway got a couple of them around here so we're going to test them see how well they perform so all right guys thanks for watching i'm dragging this thing out i gotta go pack up the car go skiing <coughs> hopefully <coughs> get over this cold <laughs> sorry about that all right guys thanks for watching appreciate it thanks robert really appreciate you and uh Hope you're okay. I'm going to send an email and hopefully everything's good. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.